What's up everyone, it's Adam. Today I'm back with a brand new lifeguard video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the common things that you're gonna have to deal with as a lifeguard when you're working a lifeguarding job. This is for pools, water parks, waterfront, it doesn't really matter. A lot of these things are the same. So if you're a new lifeguard, or let's say you just got a lifeguarding job this summer, I'm gonna walk you through what to expect and how to deal with it. Now, before I dive into this, if you guys are new to the channel, make a bunch of lifeguarding tutorials about how to pass the lifeguarding course, the swimming pretest at the beginning of the course, and basically everything you need to know to be a successful lifeguard. So definitely consider subscribing and liking the video if you're new to the channel. So I'm gonna try to get through this, I'm a little sick, but number one, the most common thing that you're gonna have to face as a lifeguard when on duty is the breaking of basic rules. And basic rules include running on the pool deck, jumping on someone and not waiting for them to swim out of the way. Maybe there's two people on the diving board at once, two people on the water slide, people trying to climb the fence, people doing spins and flips or holding onto each other while jumping in, like stuff like this. Each pool and each facility has their own types of rules. So these are the type of things when you see it as a lifeguard, you can blow the whistle once, everyone's gonna look at you and you can say, stop doing that or if they're within like a speaking distance and they're kind of close by, or maybe if you know their name, you can say their name, get their attention, and remind them that they can't be doing that. Now, when you're enforcing rules, I highly recommend you give people a reason to why they shouldn't do it. So if someone's running on the pool deck, a very basic answer is I don't want you to slip and fall and hurt yourself. And another answer would be, I don't want you to do spins or flips because I don't want you to hit your head on the side of the pool. Now, another basic occurrence and things that happen when you're working as a lifeguard is people coming up to you asking basic questions. The most common question you're gonna face are when does the pool close do you have extra goggles can I take the deep end test like stuff like that do you know where the bathroom is or am I allowed to swim laps in this lane like stuff like that and for these questions I guarantee you'll know the answers to them but just remember when you're talking to someone when someone comes up to you make sure your attention is still on the water you're still scanning you can look at them in the eyes briefly but you want to make sure you're facing the water and that you're not getting distracted in case you miss something now another thing you are have to do as a lifeguard is you're gonna to have to set up a Equipment. This could be before at like the opening shift or it could be at the end of the day. And this requires you to get fanny packs, hang them on the lifeguard stand or maybe put them around your waist, to get lifeguard tubes at every single station, to set up umbrellas if it's a very hot day and it's a sunny location, set up the lane lines and make sure they're tightened properly because people are gonna be swimming laps. Maybe it's swim team, you gotta make sure the lane lines are tight. Make sure that you have your first aid, your AED and your backboard out because you do not wanna have to run into a closet to get proper equipment to make a save you want to have things in their exact location and that follows code and law so you need to have a backboard out you need to have access to a first aid kit and you need to know where everything is and now another thing you might have to do for equipment some jobs may require this is to check chlorine and you can do this by using a kit basically when you do chlorine is you'll have these like cylinder bottles and you have a container and basically you take the container you dip it in the water and you do a couple drops of chemicals and you'll see the color and a certain color implies that there's a perfect amount of pH or too much or not enough. So basically you have to make sure that the pool has enough chlorine in it or not too much chlorine so it's safe to swim. Now the last common occurrence is rotating with other lifeguards. It's very important to learn how to do this. When you're changing stations, a lot of jobs have safety breaks where people get out of the water. Other jobs just kind of hand the tube over, you keep looking at the water and then the other person grabs the tube, looks at the water, lets you come down from the stand and then places you there's stuff like that so basically have a waterproof watch on or have visibility to a clock know your breaks and know your rotation times and make sure when you're swapping the tube you can like share some notes about what you're noticing people to keep an eye on but just make sure you're watching the water and you'll be completely fine so hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful like and subscribe if you're new to the channel comment down below if you have any questions and i'll see you all in the next lifeguard video thanks so much peace out